Hi everyone, welcome again to our niche talk with Gira. In this session, I will explain you about how to add version or release in Gira. So whenever we are working with a project, it's always required or it's always needed to have a different versions of any specific application or the project to be created because whenever there is a lot of functionality to prepare, it's divided in some part. So developer will, developer will never provide a single build and if there is any defect or any uh, issue occurs, that will be going to be fixed and once that fix, a new version will release by development team. So, we'll discuss practically how to create it inside the Jira and configure and how we'll track it uh, inside our project. So, let's understand today's agenda. What is release? We'll discuss here how to create a release number and detailed explanation with the practical examples. So let's move to the uh, our at last in login credentials where we will jump to our project. In previous session, I created a project inside the Jira. So if you don't know about how to create a project inside the Jira, please watch my previous session. I will also include the URL in my description there. From there, you can refer it easily. Click on your project where you want to create a release. Once you click on release, here, let's move to here, you'll find out the release available in this. So before moving to the release, let me explain what is release or version which we are creating inside the project. So version will help our package and schedule project deliveries. It will always add up additional value to the project. So just like take an example, if we are having version 1.1 and a new functionality will build on top of one version 1.1, then it will also increase the version number. It is helpful when we are tracking on which build any specific functionality is built. So at the time of creating a build, if there is any issue occur, we can track it or if it is required, we will roll back to the previous one. So it's always important to have multiple build for any specific project because developer will never provide a build of complete solutions in agile methodology. There are small small functionality built by different person or different developer. At the end, they will integrate it. So it's always required to have a multiple build in Jira. So let's understand how we'll create it. Once you click on release inside your uh, Jira demo project 2. We have to click on create version. So you can provide the version name. So version name you can give it here version 1.0 and on which date to which date you will release it. So let's take uh, this as a 13 and uh, for 3 days. Description which new functionality you have included you can add it inside the description tab or uh, you can skip it. Otherwise, you can provide the complete detail of our, about the this build. So, this is new functionality one. So, let's keep this as is now. But whenever we are talking about description, description should contain each and every thing in detail. Now. This is created. If we want to create a some more build like version B 1.1 and the date would be 16 to 19. You can keep any dates uh, or you can keep the dates start date and release date. You can keep as a sprint planning as well. So this is functionality 2. Click on save. Now you can see two uh, versions are created here. So whatever version we have created latest one is on the top and the uh, previous one is going to be a chronicle, chronological order. So if you want to archive, build and release, merge or edit. So if you want to merge version 1 and 2 together, you can merge it. So you have to select the mer version here for merging two builds together. So I don't want to merge it here. 
there are several other options that are also available if you want to edit it if you want to make the changes and add some more descriptions or the release name you can do that simply on clicking this uh, deleting if you want to delete your release number you can definitely delete it build and release is basically if you want to build your versions and uh, release it uh, for the further sprint uh, you can release it accordingly but uh, right now i'm not doing here so let's move back to here now let's move to the when we are creating any defect how we'll assign these versions because uh, if we found the defect in version 1.1 so definitely uh, 1. Point, sorry 1.0 and 1.1 is a fix of the defect definitely we have to uh, tag that uh, version detail as well so here when you create the defect if you don't know what the procedure how to create a defect inside uh, jira I have already created one more session on how to create a defect. Please watch that so that you are able to understand how to create a defect in detail. I will also include description tab so that you can easily access from the description URL. So, fix version. So, here is the fixed version. If it is fixed in 1.1, you can directly assign to the 1.1 and uh, there is a one more field is available in which version you have found the defect. So issues affected affects version. So you can assign it to the previous version here. So unreleased version or uh, version 1.1 where you have found you can tag it. So by this way we can tag our uh, defect inside this or you can also include version number inside the description tab as well so once you uh, add these details you are able to uh, find out once we will uh, find the defects here so let me show you how we'll tag it inside the defect and how it looks when we are tagging inside the defects as well so there is no issue still available here so let me my open issues Uh, it's not available inside this project let me move to some other project yeah. in this uh, project i can see several defects are available let me open this one and the detail about this defect is available here or you can find it out here if you want to change some details you can update it tracking version so fixed version is not available in this so in this project there is a no release available so whenever you want you can create it from directly from here as well it's better recommended to go inside that project and from uh, that project you can create your release version which will be easy for you so this is very helpful when we are talking about this from master perspective or uh, from uh, the product owner perspective and this is very helpful when we are talking about tracking perspective so this is how we can create the release inside uh, the project hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching